Hey Deli friends, it's summer and that means it's my busy season. So I thought I'd update you about how things are going in the nursery. <gasps> I'm a teacher in real life, so my summertime is where I'm just busy with all sorts of projects. I always have a thousand projects going, whether that's reborn projects or other types of projects for school. And so I th just thought I'd share a few things with you. So first of all, um, a week or so ago, I went to a, a quilt festival in a tiny town in Utah and picked up some beautiful quilts for my dolls. I tend to not uh, put these in my run-of-the-mill ready-made dolls, but for very special um, custom-made dolls, especially around Christmas time, um, I will put in these beautiful um quilts and uh this is a crocheted blanket and i just i just love them they're so beautiful then of course we have lots of dolls in the nursery right now i have a huge inventory right now um over here i've got some that are on layaway and then i have shelves of clothes and bodies for dolls that are works in progress right now um this is a new um, parts holder that my husband made for me. I needed a big one for Big Joseph, so that's sitting right there. And over here, um, this is a doll that I am helping my niece make. This is the second doll she's made with me. And we're making um, an African-American doll out of patience. So the doll's about maybe halfway done or so and she's picked out the outfit and everything I think that golden yellow color will look perfect but she's just hanging out here underneath that blanket are my fairies I usually keep my dolls my own dolls covered up just so they don't get dusty and dirty um, and this is where the busy busy painting area is and if you look here these are my next dolls that I'm going to be working on and in this bird cage. So if you followed my channel at all, um, you'll know that I think it's been now several years and I'll put a link in the description um, of that. I got um, a bunch of stuff to do mini fairies from another artist. And I've been holding on to this stuff forever, um, getting more of my stuff together and just been very, very busy. And of course, in the summer, I have lots of extra time. So I'm going to get the opportunity to finally paint these mini fairies. So each fairy it's just these mini fairies by Marita Winters, tiny little things that gives you an idea of how big they are. They're about 10 or 12 inches. Um, and they are going to make them into um, fairies of the four elements. And each one has a story, a little storybook written by this particular artist and all the accessories. And I'm so excited to finally start on this project. So that is my next project. So over here, all these limbs that are hanging out and drying, these are limbs. So these limbs are uh, Valentina. Valentina is, this is the third Valentina I've done. I love this sculpt. I love it. Let's see if I can grab her head, which is actually over here. Here's her beautiful, beautiful face. I love the closed-eyed babies. So I am trying to decide what to do with her hair. Uh, I I took a penciled hair class at the Rose Doll Show, so I'm thinking of maybe doing penciled hair, or I'm really, really not sure. Both of the Valentinas I did before this one were rooted. One with a, a little boy with curly blonde hair or wavy blonde hair. And the other was a little girl with uh, dark brown hair. So I'm still trying to decide. Uh, and I haven't sealed her yet because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And then behind that is the limbs for uh, Lenya. And here's, whoop, here's her head. 
and uh, Len Lenya is going is going to be well is a biracial baby. She's actually a lot darker than she's coming across um, on camera. Um, <clears throat> it looks like they're this like these two sculpts are like the same color, but they're they're really not. Um, and I am making some custom hair for her, and um, so. I don't remember where I got this. This is actually yarn, but when I bought it, it looks so much like hair to me. Um, and I um, have braided it. Um, and then what I'm thinking of doing with her is kind of, of kind of gluing it to her head and then making it almost like she has like cornrows. Um, and so something like that. So I've already braided it together. Can always unbraid it if I need to. I'm still trying to decide what that's going to look like. Um, but I've had this stuff forever. Um, and I just thought now is the time to tackle that. So I, you can see I've got two sculpts here that really I need to decide what I'm doing with their heads. And then on top of all of that, I decided that I wanted to try silicone painting. And so I've got this silicone practice head squish, squish, baby, um, from McPherson's. It was $125. It does come with instructions and it comes with all the stuff you're going to need and little tiny uh, sample sizes of paint. Um, because I recently purchased from another artist, she was getting rid of some, um, heads, some silicone heads, um, and for only a hundred dollars. And I thought, well, that's a deal. Um, and so I'm going to try my hand at silicone painting, see if I like it. Um, I've heard it's much, much more challenging. And so that really worries me, but you know, I have all the stuff now to make that happen. So if I decide, I've never been one much for um, having a silicone in my collection. I just, they've come a long way. Now, originally silicone dolls were, I don't know, they just weren't painted very well. It was just like, look, I have a silicone doll. And it doesn't need to be painted well because it's silicone. Um, and I, I don't know, to me, I don't find them as realistic as um, regular reborn dolls. And to me, regular reborn dolls come in such a huge variety. There's all different facial expressions. There's all different sizes. Um, and they're a lot less expensive. I can get, you know, a bunch of really high quality vinyl uh, reborn dolls for the price of one silicone. But I thought I would try it, and this it may be a one and done, uh, making this one silicone, uh, and then being forever done, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll find that I love it. <sighs> and then over here, of course, we've got after the fairies are done, the next realistic one is going to be, this is Tobia. Ooh. Uh, by Laralee Eagles. This was a sculpt that I purchased. Um, a, cus a, custo a custom customer wanted to buy it, and I'd already purchased the kit, and then she changed her mind. But I thought, you know, I've always thought to buy is pretty cute, so I'll just keep to buy it and just reborn them. Um, so they are next. Um, and then after that, I've got Destiny, the fairy. So down there is actually um, Valentina. This is all Valentina, Valentina's head and all of her stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I will do that one next, Elf Destiny, but she's there. Um, I'm kind of, kind of running out of real estate here. Um, it, we're already at, at the end of June, and... Uh, the, during July, we have two big holidays here in Utah, the 4th of July and Pioneer Day on the 24th. Um, I'm going to visit my dad for a week in Arizona, which is crazy in the middle of July, but that's when I can go. And then once July is over, I go back to school on August 8th. So I don't know if I have enough time to make my four elemental fairies and Tobiah 
and finish up and learn how to silicone paint and finish up these two guys by August 8th. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big ask. <clears throat> So, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the nursery. I hope you've been inspired. If there's any dolls that you're interested in, you can message me through uh, YouTube. You can go to my Facebook page, which is Near and Far Reborn Doll Nursery, and message me there. Or you can um, find out about custom dolls. Um, and then my, my shop on uh, Reborns.com. Um, if you go on reborns.com and on the right hand side, you can scroll alphabetically through all the nurseries. I am near and far nursery on there and you can see my dolls that are for sale there. Generally, my ready-made dolls are anywhere from, um, like 175, 185 for budget babies and cuddle babies, um, through, the through about up to about five hundred dollars for like a a limited edition sculpt with uh rooted hair so there's quite a variety um and i do do layaway if you're interested uh through paypal so if you have a paypal account i can do uh 90 days um and yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this tour through the crazy nursery and all the projects that are going on ttfn ta-ta for now